Welcome to CenturyLink Field, home to the Seattle Sounders and one of the most intimidating fan bases in Major League Soccer. Unfortunately, the Reds fell short to the 1-2 punch in Obafemi Martins and Clint Dempsey, making it 2-1 for the Seattle Sounders in getting the three points. But Toronto FC had a difficult task at hand, traveling with a depleted roster. Ten players missing from the lineup. One that took people by surprise, of course, was defender Ahmed Kintari. He picked up a toe injury in training this past week. Aside from that, Justin Morrow, another defender, made the trip late with Toronto FC. The team had flown out Thursday morning, but Justin did not fly out until Friday morning. It was expected that his wife was going to be delivering their first child this weekend. They got the call from the doctor originally. He said that she wasn't going to be delivering, so Justin made the five-hour flight out here to Seattle, only to train with the team, receive another phone call that yes, his wife was going into labor. So summarizing that all up, Justin Morrow traveled 10 hours within 24 hours to go back to Toronto to witness the birth of his first child. If there was a positive moment from tonight's matchup was the fact that Eric Zavaleta was scoring his first goal of his Major League Soccer career right here in the building where his pro career had started with the Seattle Sounders. But if you ask him, despite tonight's result, there is still some teachable moments for this squad. Well, I mean, you know, uh, obviously you can't let good players have time and space to, to make the game and um, they did that tonight and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take that and we'll learn from it and, and maybe it, make it harder for, for an Oba Martins or, or a Clint to, to have the space and time they had at times. But um, like I said, I thought for the majority of the game, we did a good job of, of keeping them at bay. But uh, in key moments, big players score big goals and, and that's what they did. Unfortunately, that, that we don't get the result tonight. Now Toronto FC will return back to Toronto only to nurse some knocks and bruises. Captain Michael Bradley will fly out directly from Seattle to Boston to join Josie Altidore and the U.S. men's national team as they prepare for their international friendly against Brazil on Tuesday. Concluding that matchup, Josie and Michael will return back to Toronto to have an extra day's rest as they prepare for a very tough test against New England Revolution at BMO Field on Sunday. Stay tuned for all of those updates and interviews at torontofc.ca.